Hey there, YouTube. We have a new update. A whole new uh, rebuild will consist of 40 gig network. We have three Mellanox Connect X3 Pro 40 gig cards. We will be using these for uh, vSAN. And I already have installed in the servers the other Mellanox cards is we have an R740, R730, R730 XD as well. These two servers will be participating along with another R730 in a vSAN cluster uh, for my home lab, which I will be doing a lot of product testing for VMware and things like that. This R740 XD has 100 terabytes of storage. All Seagate 10 terabyte uh, helium NAS drives Pro Series. Along with I do uh, SAN and NAS type of topology, we have a NAS connection going for a shared data store between these two R730s for additional VMs that are not as critical that need fast speeds. These uh, SSDs I will be taking apart here soon and once I get the third host each host will have a set of three 800 gig SAS 12 gigabit SSDs participating in this vSAN so it will be a total of 7.2 terabytes of SSD storage for vSAN and also if I ever want to expand storage I can create a iSCSI LUN pointing to the environment here so I will be installing a Mellanox card into this server, so you'll be doing that. And okay, so now we're going to install the first card along with swapping around the next card. So, this is the one that was installed before, and then we're going to install it. Install. And the second card will put it in the middle slot. There we go. So we have one for data, and this one will be for vSAN for cluster storage. And we will have to swap out the storage controllers from RAID to a HBA, which I already have. So each server will have a HBA, probably plugged in here or here, which will be dedicated for vSAN connecting to the backplane here. So there we go. We got one server down. We'll do the next one. There we go. Now we're going to go to the back and plug her up. As we can see, we have the QSFP for the data. So these are each 40 gig legs. So bonded together is a 80 gig um, connection going to the Arista. And right now I only have the first three servers plugged up. As you can see, second server is down. But we have a port channel set up. There we go.
cooking hydrax. And these are 24 bay R740, R730, excuse me, this is a 740. So they both have Intel Xeon 2680 V4s, 256 gigs of RAM. And yeah, now we're gonna do the next server. Okay, time for the next server. We're gonna grab the cards. Put them up here. Now we're gonna unplug the next server. Here we go. We're gonna do the next server. So this one as well has a uh, Malinox card. Ooh, this one. We have the InfiniBand plus 40 gig, so we can do RDMA and uh, VMR vSphere 7. And here is the other one we'll be installing into the riser. Pulling off the metal filler. And if you guys like this kind of videos where I get to do stuff and install things, please let me know. I've always just showed off things and not sure if people actually like the same installing hardware. I know it's always fun, but when time when it's time to hold a camera, it's pretty uh, difficult to do. But recording off of a 4K camera. Here we go. It is installed. We have the second Mellanox and the first Mellanox. And as well, this one you guys can see, we'll have an HPA as well for um, vSAN. And as you guys noticed, this one's a little bit different. The first server was purchased off of eBay from Tech Mike and I. This server I purchased from Express Computer Systems. If you guys want really good uh, hardware for pretty good prices, I can, uh, I'll put the link in the description for where I get it. Probably better prices than eBay if you guys go through Ex Express Systems and contact uh, Parker. He'll help you guys out. But yeah, this one has a rear backplane, whereas that one was a little bit cheaper and does not have a rear backplane, but I won't need the rear backplane for anything. I'll be using all front I.O. storage. And as well, this one has 256 gigs of RAM. So yeah, there's that. Okay, now we're going to uh, put the cover back on and there we go. So before we do that, we're going to hook up this R740, that way my VMs can fly back over to this one. Because right now I'm doing a two node architecture where right now this is the primary because uh, vSphere HA took this one over when this one went down. So I want to make sure that the VMs get redistributed. There we go, it's powering up. So now while that's powering up, we're going to hook in there's one so that will be having 
for the first few port channels. So that is for the first, second, and then this will be the third. So now we're going to do that port. And it should light up here in a second. If not, actually, I might have to go into the Arista switch and actually force it to go to 10 gig, from 10 gig to 40 gig, because this could have a, uh, a breakout cable to have four 10 gigs for each port, which I convert each port to be one single 40 gig leg. There we go. There's that one. Actually, you know what? We're going to move this. We're going to put that on that leg of the switch. Because we have one more R740 to come in. That way, we will keep the data on this side of the switch and then grow out the VSAN and everything else on the opposite side. And then we'll do nice wire cable management here in a second. And the last one. Okay, we'll have to make this nice and tidy here in a few minutes, but there we go. So we have, this is an 80 gig, and this will be an 80 gig, an 80 gig. So total bandwidth for each server is around 160, which is overkill, but it is actually cheaper than 10 gig these days. So if you guys are wondering how I get uplink to my rack for internet, we have a QSFP to a SFP plus 10 gig and it's coming from the router which is on the other side of the house to my rack so we have that and this is a top of rack switch where we have all the management i track uh, ups apcs all plugged in and we do have two an a and b oh Cranky. Let's try this again. So we have an A and B. Uh, power architecture from different side of the house so that way if one goes down the other will take over this one's not being used because the primary power supply on each server is power supply one so at six amps for three servers the arista and a dell and they all hooked up to the ups so right now zero other one is six there we go we'll do some more uh tidying later but for right now this is good enough might have to get a little bit longer iDirect cables for each server. This one's still uh, fan spun up, but it's okay. So, there we go. So we have upgraded and added a lot of new things today. I will probably do an update video for you guys when the second R7, well, the third R730 comes here, which will be here. Um, and then slowly build out the VSAN cluster uh, other than that, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content. See you guys.